On Monday, June 10th, first-seeded Hillers baseball took on nine-seeded Milton in the South Division II sectional quarterfinals. Hillers trailed one to nothing into the bottom of the first, but that did not last long. Right up and a pitch to the lefty, gets a piece of this one, and it's past the reach of the shortstop. One run is in. Here comes Simos. He'll score as well. It's a two RBI single for Connor Kelly. He absolutely roped that ball into the outfield. Scalded, I'd say. Fozzie was a few inches too short on that one. Dexter with the pitch, and this is hit in the air, high in the air, to the wall. Adios! Home run, Brendan Kelly! It's 4-1, to Hillers. Big fly. Hillers added another run in the bottom of the third. Dexter set to deliver. And this is hit up the middle. That'll get into left field. Here comes Simos around to score. And it's an RBI single for Sheamus. And the Hillers have a 5-1 to one lead. Top of the fourth, Ronnie Sheamus made a tremendous play at third base. As this is hit in the air, what a play by Sheamus. Jumps up and rips it down for out number one. Just like Snagglepuss. Well, here's your defensive play of the day so far. Milton plated two runs in the top of the sixth to make it a 5-3 to three game, but the Hillers' bats exploded in the bottom of the inning. Simos tattoos this ball over to the wall, and that is going to drop in fair territory. One run is in, a second run is in, and here comes McKenzie as well, and it's a three RBI double for Steve Simos. Eight look, to three Hillers. Good fastball hitter that kid. <laughs> really good fastball hitter. Big mistake pitch. And this is a fair ball. Simos is going to score. Throw to first. Not in time. Everybody's safe. That was certainly the most awkwardly hit ball of the day, but in any case, it does the trick. Simos scores. It's nine to three Hillers. An RBI single for Ronnie Sheamus. Down low, that'll get by the catcher, and here comes another run for the Hillers. Ambrosoni will score. Seven runs came around in the bottom of the sixth, and the Hillers took the 12-3 victory to advance on to the sectional semifinals. Brendan Kelly pitched six solid innings in the game, giving up two runs and striking out five. Connor Kelly closed out the seventh and went two for four at the plate, with three RBIs and scored two runs. Last year we lost on a heart heartbreaker up on the top field here, and it just feels good to finally get one back under our belt. Uh, yeah, it feels awesome, you know, especially watching the seniors uh, struggle last year with the first round knockout, you know. It was good to help them get to the next round. Those uh, Milton hitters certainly uh, challenged you at times, uh, but you got through, especially the middle innings, uh, pretty well. Uh, how was it out there against this uh, tough Milton team? Each one of them battled up at the plate. They all were up close on the plate and were swinging at my pitches. They were being aggressive. Made me work for my, made me work for it. So. And how did it feel to hit that uh, two-run homer in the bottom of the first to make it a uh, four to nothing or four to one game at that time? It felt really good. Uh, I just saw it, saw it down and sent it as far as I could. All right, and uh, Connor, you came in, closed things out, but you also had a good day at the plate. You went uh, two for four. Uh, how did it feel to have the success that you had at the plate today? How did you feel uh, closing it out as well for the win to advance to the uh, semifinals? Uh, I felt great at the plate. You know, I was really locked in all week. I was really excited for the game. And uh, we are closing it out. Uh, we had a 12-3 cushion, so I just knew how to go out and throw strikes. And our defense has been solid all week, so I had confidence. Steve, you had a great game today. You went... Uh, two for three at the plate with a walk, three runs scored, and you also uh, defensively caught a guy stealing. Uh, How would you feel about your performance out there today? Felt good. Um, Brendan made it really easy, so I love catching him. I'm going to miss playing with him next year, so felt what, good. What's it been like playing with this group all season? Oh, it's been awesome. We've got a great group. Um, some of my best friends are on this team, and, and even the younger guys, they're, they're just like family now, so it's been great. Excellent. And um, th that Milton team, they gave you a little bit of a scare in the end, but of course you had that seven-run explosion in the bottom of the sixth. Uh, what was the general feeling when you guys just uh, seemed to not stop hitting the ball in that bottom of the sixth inning? 
Yeah, it feels good. It makes you feel good about what you have to come. So uh, next game, if we can hit like that, hopefully we'll come out on top again. But I guess we, we just got to play one game at a time. We're with head coach Steve Simos. Coach, a great win against a tough Milton team today. The bats uh, really got going, especially in that bottom of the sixth inning. How would you feel about your team's performance out there today? I loved it. I thought uh, we had a great practice last night. We've been a good hitting team, but they've really committed to having a plan. I had seen Milton play uh, last week against the defending state champs, and um, I could not be more uh, pleased with how we performed today. And um, Brendan Kelly, I promised the kids that Brendan Kelly would be great because he's been great since he's been here, and he was great. So I'm really proud of him. Could you talk about uh, the performance of Steve Simos, not only getting a couple big hits, but also uh, that great defensive play to catch the guy stealing? Yeah, I, uh, I told him it's, you know, these are the games where he has to do something. He's had a very good year. I'm very proud of him, obviously. And uh, But that last at-bat, when he knew we really needed it to unlock the game, I was really happy with his approach. You know, he's, he's harder on himself than uh, I ever am, and, and I'm pretty hard on him. Um, but he really battled, and I was really proud of him. All right, Coach, you're moving on to take on the winner of Stoughton and Milford in a very tough bracket. Uh, and this team just, uh, they, they really seem like they can compete with just about anybody. Uh, what's it been like to coach this group this year? Great. You know, I was saying um, to my assistant coaches who um, I said they're, they're special, but they're not, you're not, excuse me, they're not uniquely special. We have unbelievable kids in this town, uh, and this group is great. To have 21 kids on our roster, and I don't get any negativity on the bench. We have a wonderful bench, wonderful teammates. It's uh, 21 deep. Just great, great kids. All right, Coach, well, we wish you the best of luck going forward and hopefully many more playoff games to come. All right, thank you very much.